Join us, join us, fight the good fight. My name's David Doak. I'm a director at Free Radical. Hayes is set in the future, um, at 2048. It's um, a very different world to the world that we have nowadays because private military corporations have become a very important part of this world. Mantle provide the soldiers with all kinds of technology. Um, obviously the, the, the guns, the vehicles, all that kind of thing. But key to Mantle's um, the way they fight wars, is they're also involved in pharmaceutical research. And Nectar is a pharmacological product. Um, basically, it's Mantle's combat enhancer that allows the soldiers in Mantle's army, the troopers, to fight at an amazing, amazing range of ability. They, they can see things that you couldn't see unaided. They have faster reactions. They are better at aiming. Really, it's, it's, it's the kind of like, it's the pep pill for the modern army. Hayes has full four-player co-op throughout the campaign story. And then for more traditional multiplayer stuff, we'll be offering Deathmatch. And also, we're very excited about a number of assault-based kind of mini-objective uh, multiplayer maps, which support the greater fiction. So you have like kind of little conflicts, troopers, troopers versus rebels outside of the main story arc. So it just builds the world for you. And in the game, Hayes, uh, you play a character called Shane Carpenter. And Shane is a soldier in Mantle's army. So he goes into this war, he's very excited about it, he wants to do the right thing, fighting for Mantle, and um, things, things change dramatically over that time. As events unfold in Hayes, Shane Carpenter and the player will gradually realise that they're being controlled. And a key part of the game is now that Shane will turn around and break away from the influence and control of Mantle. There are two key um, aspects to the way that the rebels fight against Mantle. One of them is probably something you've guessed at already, which is that the Mantle troopers sometimes overdose in nectar, and when they go into the overdose state, they just lose the ability to, to fight coherently anymore. The other one is more subtle, and we've not really drawn people's attention to it before, but on nectar, the Mantle troopers' view of the world is really an edited world, edited view. There are things that they don't see. They kind of assume that everything is going well for them. So when people get shot, they die, etc. When you're a rebel, you take advantage of the fact that the, the, the Mantle Troopers really have a slightly blinkered view of the world, and that allows the rebels to exploit it. Because the Mantle Troopers are souped up on nectar all the time, it makes them supremely arrogant, and that makes them vulnerable to ex exploits, fast exploits. So a thing you can do on the rebel side is we call it the weapon steal. The cool thing about the Rebel Weapon Steel is that really what you're doing is just saying, I like your gun, I'm going to take it off you. And what it is, it's, it's, it's playing on the arrogance of Mantle. The last thing he expects you to do is to punch him in the face, take his gun. Um, and that's going to really freak people out in multiplayer. The Rebel Play Dead ability, it's essentially play possum. The Mantle troopers are always thinking that they're winning, always thinking that they've killed the Rebels. If you're nearly dead, suddenly you're allowed to play dead. And that means it'll ignore you as a target, and you can jump up and outflank them, surprise them. The really cool thing about being on the Rebel side is that you now have to work on your wits and your knowledge of ways to exploit Nectar against the troopers. So it's no longer, I'll just press this button and I get these abilities. It's looking for ways which you can make the troopers go wrong, or ways that you can get the jump on them, because they're taking Nectar. And with Haze, we want to be creating really the shooter that people think of when they think of PS3. And we think that this is a really excellent window of opportunity for us to step into the spotlight and to show what Hayes is really capable of. Hayes will be available in November 2007 um, exclusively on PlayStation 3.